next chapter UI customization. Okay, so up till now what we have discussed is uh, how to create a data model, how to create the schema, how to add the fields, how to create the validation rules, how to create the relationships, cross object formula fields, uh, roll up summary fields, lookup filters, and everything else. So that's okay, but what about the UI? So whenever we added a new field onto any of our sales force, give me a second. Um, If you'll open the student, any of the record of the student object, you'll see all the fields one by one lined up onto this column. What if I want uh, this batch time to be up or uh, this Aadhaar card number to be up over here? I want to rearrange the fields in here. How I'm going to do that? And exactly. So, uh, so I mean, this is one problem that we want to solve. Okay. Uh, there are related lists coming up over here. Notes and attachments, student and batches rating. So what I want is ratings to be up and then student and batches. And I don't want notes and attachments at all. And uh, yeah, students should be there. So I want to modify this UI. I want to modify this layout. So in order to do that, what I need to do is I need to know about the point and click tools that are available to modify the UI without actually writing a single line of code. I want to do that. And in this chapter, in UI customization chapter, what we're going to understand is uh, we're going to understand like how to modify the UI without actually write, uh, writing a single line of code, getting it with the help of point and click tools. So that's what we're going to like talk about in UI customization chapter. Okay. So the, num the first topic in UI customization chapter is Page layout. Okay. Page layout controls two things. Number one. Detail page of a record and number two. Edit page of a record. Okay. So what is a detail page? This is a detail page. So if you want to modify this one, you can do it with the help of page layout. And if I'll create a new student, the page which opens up over here is edit page. Whenever I create a new student, it is the edit page. Or if I edit the existing record, it opens the same page. This is also edit page. 
So if I want to control the fields in every uh, in the layout of the fields in the related list onto detail page or edit page, where I'm gonna go page layouts. And with the help of page layouts, I'll be able to control what fields are there or uh, what field should be there, what related list should be there, and everything else. Is that clear? Good. So shall we like just go to the page layout and do it? How to go to the page layout? Set up. Object manager. Object with a student in this case. The video that you guys are seeing is like is similar to the one that you used to see, or is it something different? Because I can see there is a difference. Let me know. Ah. Uh, what? Fields and relationships and uh, details. Fields and relationships. Okay, over here there is page layout. Like this. Or uh, here uh, there is student page layout. I'll just click onto it. I'll go down. Over here, if I want to rearrange the fields, I can do that just by drag and drop. If I'll put email in here. Then there is contact number below that. Then so let's do let, let, let me do one thing. Uh, let me create multiple sections. I'll create a new section for fee related information. And by the way, uh, this section should be available on detail page and edit page, both of them. Then in that case, uh, check both of them. Otherwise you can just uh, deselect whichever one you want to. One column or two column, two column basically means there'll be field on the left hand side as well as the right hand side. One column means there'll be, field, uh, there'll be only one field on a single row. Then tab key order, whenever we submit a form, we uh, press tab to go to the next field. So whether it should, it should go from left to right and then down and fill left, uh, like right and then down, something like that like in a Z position or in a Z, uh, Z uh, way or other like else it can go like this. Like first you'll complete all the fields which are on the left and then you'll come on to the right, uh, the fields which are on the right. It's your choice how you want to go ahead with that. Uh, but I'll go with initial fields over here. I'll drop it in here. Then there is fee deposited. And then there is total fees, right? If I if I want to create uh, one more section, I can create it. I can create as many sections as I want. Two column, or rather naming it as rating section, I'll name it as. I'll then total number of ratings and then average rating. And by the way, it's not even compulsory to put all the fields. I can remove the, what, what will I do with some of all ratings? Nothing, right? So I'll remove it. There's one way drag and drop on the palette. This is called as palette or you can just remove it like that. Here is average rating. And if you can see there's a lock, why? It's a formula field. And this one is also a formula field. And uh, earlier with other ones as well, we were seeing that log because those were roll up summary fields. So roll up summary fields and formula fields are always. You know. What? Will remove the data, not delete the data. Remove, not even remove the data. It will remove the field from the page layout. That's all what will do. And uh, then let's say if you want to create a section for personal information. Contact info. I'm gonna drag the email and the contact. Aadhaar number. LinkedIn profile. State. Yeah. Birth date. 
I want a space between uh, Aadhaar card number. So I'll drag blank space. I'll again drag blank space. I want a space between LinkedIn profile and students contact as well. Team opted, course opted. Then I'll create a section. one column so uh, you create one column section for text area text uh, rich and feel similar to that resume Done. The fields are set according to you and we'll click save. Contact info. Pay related info, rating info, additional info. That's it. Whichever way you want to go with that. It will create a new student. Student name, stream opted, course opted, blank space, blank space, 12 percentage, student location, age, everything else. The space between her, initial fees, fee deposited. Total fees is a formula field because that, that's the reason it's not coming in here. That's it. It's easy, right? Any essence in page load. No? So that's how uh, page layouts work and that's how you need to modify the page layouts. Okay, so how many page layouts can we create? One. We can create as many page layouts as we want and we can assign different different page layout to different different users. Getting it? So like imagine uh, you are uh, sitting on the registration desk. Then we want different page layout for you. You're sitting on the man, uh, you're, you're the manager. So we want different page layout for you. You're the CEO. Then in that case, we need a different page layout for you. So in this case, we'll create three different page layouts and we'll assign these page layouts to different different people. Different different people and uh, different not not to users but to different different profiles. Getting it? So how to assign different different page layout? Let me do one thing. Let me make a copy of this uh, page layout. I'll copy of. Uh, let's say student layout two. So there's another page layout created in which we do not want Aadhaar card number, in which we do not want LinkedIn profile, in which we do not want birth date, state, we, do, we are not looking for. We just want to see the total fees deposited. This complete section should be gone. Just like this. And now I'll save it. So there are two page layouts now. And if I want to assign different page layouts to different profiles, how I'm going to do that? Page layout assignment. I'm going to hit edit assignment. Then for system administrator, you want student layout. If you want student layout to select student layout two from here. And it's done. For marketing profile, you want a student layout to.
select this one and you you're ready to go make sense so if i'll make student layout 2 for uh, system administrator let's see what uh, he or she will be able to see i've saved the assignment if i let new student that's it nothing else why is the page layout that the system administrator is using is changed so that's how it will go now if i want to change this assignment once again then how i'm going to do that again i'm going to go to page layouts and in page layouts i'm going to hit page layout assignment and uh, in page layout assignment i'm going to hit edit assignment and then yeah, control select full layout that's it i'll just save it i hope it makes sense to everyone good now the fields which i have uh, which i have removed from the page layout that means the user will not be able to uh, see the, the the values of those fields right so that means i have uh, made those field hidden for that particular user yes or no okay it's not true the users can see the value of that field uh, somewhere else as well so with the help of page layout you only control detail page and edit page nothing else what if the user opens this students uh, this and he or she is able to see that field in here they can see it over here if you will click on all they can see the that field in here as well over here currently we are only showing student id but later i am going to show uh, tell you that how to show different fields over here as well so in that case even if it is hidden on the page layout user can see it from here or from somewhere else or from a related list of another record so listen to this it's a note in your notes as well uh uh do not hide the field uh, only onto the page layout if you do not want the user to see it you need to do that with the help of field level security so if you want to hide a field from a particular user make sure to implement field level security do not be dependent on to the page layout only they only control the view of that field on the page layout or to the detail and edit page nowhere else but if you'll make if you'll make the field hidden for a particular profile on uh, like uh, on field level security then in that case that field will not be visible to that user anywhere getting it that user will not be able to see that field anywhere so always and always make sure that if you want to uh, hide a field or if you want the field to be read only then you are not being dependent onto the page layout but you are implementing field level security that we have already seen but we are going to learn more about it in what data security chapter that that's going to come down the line i hope it is clear to everyone clear good okay 